I am Dr. Nimal Gamage, Cosmetic Surgeon, Internal Medicine Specialist. Today I want to talk about the problem of heartburn. It is a very common problem that we all have and mostly heartburn is caused by the reflux of acid into our esophagus and usually it is due to the lack of mucus in our esophagus. And we consider our stomach to be a blender which blends all the food and also we know that to digest protein we need pepsin and for that we need hydrochloric acid. This is the acid which uh, sometimes reflux back into the esophagus and causes heartburn. But hydrochloride is absolutely essential because hydrochloride usually kills many of the pathogens and also helps us to absorb essential nutrients from the food uh, such as very importantly B12. Vitamin B12 is very important for our health. At duodenum, bicarbonate is again added into the food and there is more pancreatic enzymes which helps us to digest the food and bile is secreted to digest the fat. We know that we have a lot of bacteria in the colon, we have more bacteria than uh, the amount of cells in our body and this helps us to manufacture B vitamin and K vitamin. And also the bacteria digest the fiber into butyric acid which is the food for the intestinal cell walls and helps, you, helps to break down the toxins in our diet and we need those bacteria and uh, the products they make to prevent infections and also to promote hormone and immune health and improve mineral absorption. A lot of us now know that leaky gut syndrome is the problem behind a lot of the autoimmune diseases such as diabetes, hair loss caused by alopecia, rheumatoid arthritis and so on. And low stomach acidity is also a problem usually when we get older or eat a diet full of sugar because when sugar ferments it creates gas and that creates low acidity. Also, this kind of gas production causes a lot of heartburn. So, sugar is one of the main reasons why we get heartburn. And normally, today, we treat heartburn by reducing the acid production in the stomach. This is absolutely harmful to our health because when you use antacids and acid blockers, we get some relief symptomatically, but later it causes a lot of problems or many more diseases down the line. Low acidity is also caused by overgrowth of stomach bacteria especially H. pylori we know H. pylori is a bacteria which causes gastric ulcers and peptic ulcers and also can lead to irritable bowel syndrome and the thing we talked about earlier the gut permeability autoimmune problems and so how do you heal heartburn first thing you want to do is avoid the bad food the sugar chocolate coffee tea a lot of garlic a lot of onions things like tomato, citrus, alcohol. And if you don't have heartburn, garlic and onions and tomatoes are very healthy for us. And even if you have heartburn, once it, we cure it with our program, we want to introduce those back to your diet because those are very healthy for you. Uh, try not to overeat, limit our stress. Initially limit the intake of fat, but later on, we have to add the good fat for our health. If you are overweight, we have to lose weight, stop smoking, and also introduce some healthy exercises to our routine long term we want to have more fat in the diet because we know that there's no culture in the world who ate low fat diet in the history of the world fat is very important it's important to as building blocks for cell membranes all our cell membranes are made of fat and also to absorb very important vitamins such as a d e and k and to produce hormones including testosterone and estrogen also for proper mental health and for healthy skin, hair and nails and improved digestion and absorption of food. For all these reasons we need healthy fat in our diet. I recommend coconut oil or palm oil and we should avoid industrial eggs, dairy and meat long term. Antacids and two blockers cause osteoporosis and another thing about milk. Milk pasteurization destroys the alpha phosphatase in the milk which we need to absorb the calcium so pasteurized milk uh, doesn't help us raw milk is better but in the long run dairy food is very unhealthy for us so I don't recommend that and the beneficial other steps would be 
uh, to remove gluten removing gluten means not eating wheat and things which contain gluten it helps us wheat roots contain betaine uh, which increase the hydrochloride in the stomach small mass of coconut oil before meals also help to increase hydrochloride production for this purpose we recommend using virgin coconut oil and sometimes gelatin is important to add to the diet which has proline and glycine which help to heal the intestinal lining also helps to heal leaky gut syndrome so if you have like autoimmune diseases hair loss rheumatoid arthritis even diabetes it's good to eat some gelatin and after we eat food stomach secretes hydrochloric acid which provides like a warming sensation that's why we always get a little warmed up after a meal if you don't get warmed up that means you don't produce enough hydrochloride those people we recommend them beat in HL as mentioned and uh, apple cider vinegar also can replace hydrochloride in some uh, patients we recommend taking taking apple cider vinegar especially the patients who are having problems with gastritis now protein pump inhibitors are things like Nexium, Prilosec, Prevacid you heard of these drugs we used uh, for heartburn or peptic ulcers in the long term they cause more C. difficile infection which is, very, which is a very bad uh, diarrhea which can kill people sometimes causes osteoporosis and B12 deficiencies that means even more cancers we know that fermented cod liver oil actually increases the product improves the uh, uh, HCL production and also protect the intestinal lining so those are good so for the best treatment of heartburn you want to use the proper diet and initially cut down the fat alcohol smoking stress chicken and meat in your diet and dairy food later add good fat from coconut sources add BD3 and K2 magnesium to the diet and also to heal the mucosa we use antioxidants we recommend a combination of seven antioxidants and these are the same seven antioxidants we use to obtain a fair skin like to lighten our skin color so get a very nice skin and also to heal heartburn we use the same treatment we use the same treatment we use to heal the liver as well and these are natural natural food supplements which are present in our cells so nobody gets allergic or any other problems with these antioxidants also consider gelatin beetroot apple cider vinegar in some patients